Hey everyone, I want to let you guys know about some Black Friday, Thanksgiving sales deals if you live in the United States that you could take advantage of. Coming up a week from now, I feel like when you're going to do these sale things, if you're going to bother to go out to stores or order online, you really need a plan of attack. So knowing the best Nintendo Switch sales out there and where they are at will help you have a plan of attack. Now, it should be noted that we're going to be specifically be talking about GameStop, Best Buy, Toys R Us, Walmart, and Target. And when we talk about this, GameStop itself opens at 4 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Best Buy and Toys R Us open up at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving. And Walmart and Target open up at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving. And we're going to have a link to a Reddit thread as well down in the description that's going to gather all this information as well for you and keep updating it as more sales information becomes available. But as of today, this is what we have for the best Switch deals out there. Now, should be notable, the Nintendo Switch system itself will not be on sale and have discounts anywhere. I don't think that should be a surprise to anyone. Uh, and we'll cover a few other things, like a couple 3DS stuff and some Wii U games. Specifically, I really want to focus right in on Switch. So, we talked about this on an episode of the podcast, but we are going to expand beyond this. Sonic Forces is available for $25 at Best Buy, but it also will be $30 at GameStop and Walmart. Just notable in case you don't have a Best Buy in your area and you'd like to pick up Sonic Forces on sale. Uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Metal will be $30 at Walmart. That's a heck of a steal for one of the best games on Switch. Rayman Legends Definitive Edition will be $20 at GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart. Dragon Ball's Universe 2 will be $25 at GameStop, $20 at Best Buy and Walmart. Puyo Puyo Tetris will be $30 at Best Buy. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus will be $30 at Best Buy. Super Bomberman R will be $35 at GameStop and Target, $30 at Toys R Us, $25 at Best Buy. Batman the Telltale series will be $20 at GameStop. The Sagi of 5 will be $40 at Toys R Us, $20 at Best Buy. NBA 2K18, $30 at Walmart for the Xbox One version. Uh, and it's listed for $30 at Target. And it's rumored that this potentially could be the same price drop for the Switch version. Just Dance 2018 is $40 at GameStop, $30 at Target and Walmart. Uh, the Xbox One version is listed for $30 at Best Buy. Again, chances are that it will be price matched for Switch. Lego Worlds is $30 at Toys R Us, $20 at Walmart and Best Buy, $15 at Target. RBI Baseball 2017 is $20 at Best Buy. Lego Ninjago Movie Video Game, $30 at GameStop and Walmart. And Toys R Us, $20 at Best Buy. Uh, and yeah. Minecraft Story Mode, $20 at Walmart, $15 at Best Buy. Has Been Heroes, $10 at GameStop. Monopoly, $20 at Best Buy. Cars 3 Driven to Win, $30 at Best Buy. 1-2 Switch, $30 at Walmart, $25 at Best Buy, $20 at Toys R Us. And FIFA 18 is $30 at Walmart, Toys R Us, and Best Buy. So when you look at the whole of these sales... It definitely feels like Best Buy has some of the cheapest prices on games, whereas Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us have more sales on different games that Best Buy does not. Uh, GameStop also has an interesting price. Like I really want to get Batman the Telltale series. The fact it'll be $20 at GameStop excites me because that's half off the price that it currently sells for on Nintendo Switch. So I'm really glad I did not pick it up on launch day and literally just had to wait like a week and a half to get that game on sale. Uh, some awesome sales here. I'm briefly going to go over uh, 3DS as well because Walmart has a ton of sales uh, for 3DS games. So if you're looking to get 3DS games on the cheap, Walmart is the place to go. Uh, but let's just go over the sales for that. Smash for 3DS is $30 at Walmart, $25 at Target. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World is $25 at Target. Super Mario Maker 3DS is $30 at Walmart, $25 at Target. Mario Sports Superstars is $30 at Walmart, $25 at Toys R Us. Uh, Kirby Planet Robot is $25 at Target and Toys R Us. Mario Kart 7 is $20 at Best Buy. 
New Super Mario Bros. 2 is $20 at Best Buy. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is $15 at Best Buy. Animal Crossing New Leaf is $15 at Best Buy. Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia is $30 at Best Buy. Pokemon Sun, this is not Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, by the way. Just Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are each $30 only at Walmart. Pokemon Omega Ruby is $25 at Target and $20 at Best Buy. Pokemon Alpha Alpha Sapphire, sorry, is $25 at Target. Uh, Mario Party Star Rush is $25 at Toys R Us. And Walmart has some deals on some Wii U games here. Smash for Wii U is $30 at Walmart. Uh, Paper Mario Color Splash is $35 at Toys R Us, but $30 at Walmart. And Star Fox Zero is available at Toys R Us for $35. Um... Yeah, there really isn't much else to go over. Uh, it should be notable that GameStop does have some exclusive, you know, quote-unquote exclusive deals. Uh, as an example, buy two, get one free on all pre-owned products. This is actually a deal that's not Black Friday exclusive, but it is going to be there on Black Friday. And with the sales, it's a good time to take advantage of that. Get, you know, three Switch games or whatever the case may be, one of them for free. Uh, you get 20% extra trade in credit on Black Black Friday. Uh, various Nintendo-related collectibles will also be on sale at GameStop, which include Monopoly Gamer, figurines, Christmas ornament plushies. Prices are completely varied, um, and you'll need to glance at the ad itself for that, and I'll have a link to the ad for GameStop in the description below. Um, there'll be a Nintendo Switch game case and screen protector, racing wheel, Joy-Con accessory, and charger will be $6 each. The Switch Premium Upgrade Kit will be $50, and it includes a kickstand, charge base, charge link, charge block, and screen protector. The Switch Complete Charger will be $25. This charges both your Pro Controller and Joy-Cons, comes in a Mario theme and a Zelda theme. The regular 3DS pre-owned will be $100. The new 3DS XL will be $140 pre-owned. The Wii U will be $180 pre-owned. Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire will all be $20 each, or you can buy three of them for $40 pre-owned only. Smash for Wii U, Super Mario Maker Wii U version, Mario Kart 8 Wii U version, and Splatoon 1 will each be $30, or you can buy three of them for $60 pre-owned only. Uh, not directly Nintendo related, but it's worth noting that if you get a one terabyte PlayStation 4 for $200 or the HTC Vive for $600, both of those come with a $50 GameStop gift card, which you can use for anything. So if you're planning to pick up a, you know, a PlayStation 4, you know, th this holiday, 200 bucks plus a $50 GameStop card, you turn around, turn that into three games for Switch, that would be great. Uh, Best Buy also has some exclusive deals. Uh, they say with the purchase of Super Mario Odyssey, you will get a collectible Cappy coin for free. Uh, it's the same one that you got for pre-ordering, but they obviously had some extras, so they're going to give those away during the Black Friday period. Um, a Joy-Con charging station, Hori Bram Pro Controller, and Switch carrying case will be $20 each, and certain Nintendo collectibles will be 25% off. Only things pictured are Mario and the Lick Fingerine and Monopoly Gamer. Uh, Walmart has the Hori brand wired pro controller for Switch on sale for $17 as well. Again, I'll have a link to this Reddit thread that has all of these sales in the comments below. But I really wanted to draw attention to all this stuff because I feel like this is one of the best times to be a gamer is during the holiday sales season. Uh, there are several games I've been holding off waiting on sales for. Uh, I didn't realize we were going to get a sale on some of these games for Switch, but I'm happy. You know, Monopoly for 20 bucks, I feel like is a great deal uh, if I can get out, get my way out to Best Buy or purchase online. Again, I don't know if these are available only in store. I guarantee they're available in store. I don't know if they're also online. Uh, there might be separate sales for this stuff online on Cyber Monday, which is the Monday following Black Friday. Uh, but yeah, like I can tell you right now, I'm going to be picking up Monopoly. Uh, if I can get out to Best Buy that day, I'm also going to be picking up. I'm just glancing around at the prices here again. Um, there's at least one other game I'm going to pick up. I might grab Sonic Forces for you know 25 bucks if I get out to Best Buy. I might finally get a new copy of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle since I sold mine. Uh, since it's half off for 30 bucks, that's that's a really good deal at Walmart. And hmm, I don't know. I guess. I guess maybe that's going to be it. I mean, I, yeah, that'll be it for now. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry for wasting a little time there. I'm just glad I don't plan to pick up any of the 3DS games or Wii U stuff. But again, these are the sales that we had know so far coming up for Black Friday. If there is any major retailer update, I will let you know. And we'll obviously have another sales video come out uh, probably the weekend before uh, the weekend of Black Friday, because usually the sales run through the weekend. But we'll have a new video come out on probably Saturday or Sunday uh, next weekend to tell you what's where, where to go for the best deals on Cyber Monday. Uh, there's actually some deals on Cyber Monday I'm looking for for technology. I want to help improve Nintendo Prime, some some microphones and cameras and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, obviously you guys are interested in the gaming stuff, and I will try to update you on Cyber Monday deals. Uh, at the appropriate time. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Gents from Nintendo Prime. Let me know if you're going to take advantage of any of these deals in the comments below. Oh, the other game I thought I forgot was Batman the Telltale series. I really want that. 20 bucks at GameStop. I'll have to stop out there. All right. All right. I swear I'm done now. I'm done. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I will catch you in the next one.